JSON files from one library in one site collection to another library in a different site collection. Sounds pretty easy, right? Let's see. Okay, to see how the copy file works, I created two site collections. One of them is site collection A and the other one is site collection B. They are modern sites and I'm actually using their built-in documents library. So in the source, which is going to be site collection A, I created two folders and inside every single one of them I uploaded a couple of files. Same thing on site collection B. Site collection B again is a modern site, so if I click on documents, you see there is an empty library that there is nothing inside it. So I'm trying to copy the files from source to destination, which is site collection B. To do that, I simply select the folders that I want to copy and I say copy to. Of course, I can use move, but if I use move, then there will be nothing here to compare. And the main reason that I'm building this video is comparing it. So my destination is going to be site collection B. It shows me nothing else here because there is only one library there that I can actually upload files to. If there is more libraries, this copy tool shows me different libraries here. In the destination library, I can create folder or I can just copy to the root of the uh, library that is there. I just create a folder and I call it my copied files. And I click on this check mark. And now if I go to site collection B, you will see that a folder is created. I pick this folder and I say copy all the files here. In a couple of seconds, all the files are there. Complete it. And I just go to site collection B and I open this folder and I see files are here. As simple as that. And if I just open it, files are there. Seems pretty easy, but not as you think. Now let's lift the hood and see what we have actually done. And if SharePoint did what we were expecting to do. If I go to the source library and I open folder one, you see there is a file called test file two. And under this test file two, I actually added some metadata here to F1 and F2 that are my fields. First thing that I want to see is, is I want to examine that if these values are there in the destination. So I go to the destination, I open folder one and I see great. F1 and F2 are actually transferred here. The interesting part is that although there are different column types, let me just show you something very interesting here. And if I scroll down, F2 is actually a text here, while actually in the source, it was a choice field. So great. So far, I'm very happy with that. Next thing that I want to check is, are the content types actually transferred? To do that, I want to show you a little bit more of this view. So I go to edit current view and I add two more fields to it. So for this field, I add content type and I also add title and I click OK. Same thing, destination and I edit current view and I add two fields, which is content type and also the title. Okay, I click OK and you will see a little bit more into it. So if I just go to folder one, now I have a little bit more to compare. So in the source, I have test file one, which is actually document without any metadata. This file, test file one, if I scroll to the right, you will see title is copied and there is nothing else inside it. Great. I'm happy. Test file two is also document and it has fields. We notice that fields are actually copied for this one. Third one is a little bit more interesting. 
third one is actually a different content type that I've created and I will explain a little bit more into that and if I go to the destination I see this one is a still document content type don't get me wrong content type is actually enabled for this library so let me take you to the setting of this library you will see if I click on advanced in the destination allow management of content type is enabled and if I go to the library setting again the only thing is that I haven't added any other content types to it so I simply conclude that if you want to transfer some content types from one site collection to another site collection you gotta make sure the content type is added to both the libraries in source and destination so this one failed at this stage copy doesn't make any changes in the library but then let's go and make a little bit of changes in the library copy the files again and see what we get out of it I delete all the files that I transferred here and this time before I move the files I go to the library setting and I add the content types that I have there now here is the thing there are two content types one of them is test global content type which is a global content type I've actually deployed it to SharePoint content type hub let me show you so I've actually added it here under custom content types it's called test global content type the other content type is a local content type that I created for this site collection so in the destination I go to my destination library in site collection B and in site collection B to the library I add from existing site content types and I pick up the custom content types and I add test global content type and I click OK all right so now the library that we have has document and test global content type so I go to the library itself which is empty now and I copy the files again so from source I go to the root and I pick both of them and I just copy them to site collection B site collection B and I call it my files check I click on it so and I say copy here copy completed I just click on here I go to my destination folder one and this time I see the content type is actually transferred this gives you one very good reason to manage your content types in the SharePoint content type hub rather than creating islands of content types in different site collections because as you know site collection is the boundary for the content type so when you define a content type or site column they are limited to the scope of that site collection unless you define it in the content type hub and you publish it content type hub has been added to SharePoint since SharePoint 2010 and if you really want to know a little bit more about it just put it down in the comments and I'll put a video about it and I will take you through all the details of content type hub so the first question is answered are the content types copied yes content types are copied as long as we have them in the hub metadata fields yes we notice that they are copied now we come up to the most important part how about the permissions when we copy the files do they does it copy the permission there is one way to find out and that is just going to our libraries and see if I go to my source under folder 2 there are a couple of files they are all document for every single one of them I use different permission sets so for one of them I'm using the default permission so whatever that is there in the library it inherits second one 
whatever that was there I just added a prover one for the last one I created a group in the site collection A called group one I also added a user called contributor one and here is the interesting part approver one and contributor one are actually users so I expect these users be available in both sites because they are defined globally for the SharePoint tenancy while group one is defined under site collection A so unless group one is there in site collection B we shouldn't see it one more thing that you need to know is that for none of them I actually broke the security inheritance for the last one I broke the security inheritance and I removed every single user so only group one and contributor one have access to it let's see how the destination looks like so if I go to the destination under my files now for security if you're looking into folder 2 let's see how the permissions are so I click on this one and I click on info so test file 5 I don't expect any surprises so it was inheriting from the site collection A I expect that to inherit from site collection A so nothing special when it comes to test file 6 let me show you the groups here you can see approver 1 myself as the site collection administrators three other groups that they are built-in site groups have access to it so only one additional user is added let's go to the destination and see if these permissions are transferred we were looking into file 6 so I come here file 6 is selected and if I scroll down you will see Ali Raza is added three groups are added but the user that I added is not added conclusion users are not transferred let's go to the other one the last one which I actually broke the permission inheritance so I have group one and contributor one so if I scroll down you will see contributor one has access in source group one has access and nobody else just me as a site collection administrator let's go to site collection B and see what has happened in the destination if I scroll down here I see it's me three other groups and nothing else having said that if I take you to the site collection permissions and if I go to advanced permissions you will see that the group one does not exist here so no surprise that the group is not added but one thing that I want to see in this group is that if I go to this library now and under folder 2 test 8 in the source as I told you I broke the security inheritance I want to see if in the destination security inheritance or permission inheritance is actually broken so we go to manage access we go to advance and you see that no it actually inherits from the library while if I go back to my source and I select this one manage access and I go to advance you will see actually the permission is broken so we come to the point that no permissions are not copied so be careful if you have confidential files in the source and you expect them to be transferred to the destination you cannot rely on it even if they are part of the SharePoint users okay here's our conclusion we learned when copying files metadata is not transferred we also learned when we copy files content types are transferred if they are defined in the content type up local content types are not transferred we also learned that unique permissions are not transferred so whatever the permission is in the destination all the files are, and folders inherit from the parent fantastic but so what these are all useless facts that we just learned experimenting a file copy what we actually should learn from this presentation is this always define and manage your content types in the content type hub govern them manage them control them and have some guidelines around content types 
don't let anybody go to any site or any site collection and create their own content types. Have a level of control over it. Second thing is avoid item level permissions at any cost. I really can't understand why companies want item level permission. After so many years, item level permission to me sounds a little bit of disorganized or in better word, a little bit of chaos in managing permissions. Only I and James should have access to this file is absolute nonsense. In a corporate environment, in an enterprise environment, there should be a policy that defines whether this person or not should have access to these files. And it's not that person, that role, or any person or any member of that specific role. And the final conclusion is carefully plan file transfer before you click copy button. Okay, that was for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe, and see you in the next video.